Question number three. The question is about the structure of the atom. Complete the sentences. Choose answers from the box. Each word may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So the words are electron, ion, neutron, nucleus, and the proton. So let's begin. Actually, we're being tested about the definition and the, the people who identified or uh, who discovered the above particles in an element. The center of an atom is called a nucleus. Uh, that one has already is already writing them down. The two types of a particle in the center of an atom are the proton and they are definitely the neutron from your definition you can find that. So James Shadwick proved the existence of the it's not the electron in this case but the neutron. And Niels Bohr suggested particles orbit the center of the atom. This type of a particle is the electron, the ones which move around. Next question. The two types of the two types of particle with the same mass are the neutron and the proton. Go and read about the definitions of the above the above words. Table two shows information about two isotopes of element X. This is table two. Then we have isotope one and isotope two. We have their mass numbers and we have the percentage in abundance. The mass number of isotope 1 and from a definition we know isotopes are they, they are of the same element. Yeah? They are of the same element. So we have the mass number which is 63 and 65. The percentage in abundance is 70% for isotope 1 and 65 not 65 actually 30% for Isotope number two. Let's use it to answer the next question. So using the table, the table two above, calculate the relative atomic mass of element X using the equation. So the equation is the mass number times the percentage of isotope one and plus the mass number times the percentage of isotope two all over 100 so we found out the mass number of isotope 1 was 63 the percentage in abundance was 70 plus the mass number of isotope 2 which was 65 times the percentage which is 30 all over if you use your calculator, you'll find your answer to be 63.6. So your answer is 63.6. Suggest the identity of element X. Use the periodic table. So when you use your periodic table, you will find 63.6. This is to one decimal place one decimal place so when when you look at your periodic table the closest mass number that we found for 63.6 will be 64 which belongs to copper into brackets that one question number four which is actually the final question on this on this section of number three the radius of an atom of element x is 1.2 times 10 raised to power negative 10 meters the radius of the center of the atom is 1 all over 10,000 of the radius of the atom calculate the radius of the center of an atom of element x give your answer in standard form mark that one yeah Remember to give your answer in 
standard form so what we are supposed to do in that question first of all we write the radius of element x is equals to 1 point times 10 raised to power 10 meters and the radius of the center of any atom equals to 1 over 10 over 10,000 which is in standard form this is 10 raised to power negative 4 so all we do in this question is we find the division 1.2 times 10 raised to power 10 meters all over 10 raised to power negative 4 which becomes 1.2 times 10 raised to power negative 14 you can use your calculator but you do know when two numbers divide by you just you just minus yeah? you minus the the division number so your answer is 1.2 times 10 raised to power negative 14 meters